Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Sean, and today we're gonna to be installing a Visconti Flex Fuel Kit in this customer's M340i. Step one, we're gonna disconnect the old bat tray. So take the wipers off, and then take these plastic covers off. There's a couple, I believe 16 and 18 mil bolts. You have to remove that. And you grab your 18 mil. this battery tray out to access holes right there. These two bolts right here you gotta take out their inverted torque socket but you can just fit an 8 mil on it. Wayne's gonna end up getting like a free turbo kit off of this YouTube video while I'm just the bass player. All right, take this little guy out. I just got some dust in my eyes. Take a flathead or something and just stab into it. Kind of dig it around, open it up. <laughs> it's gonna look real good for the, the gonna look real good for the YouTube video, but. <laughs> And we got our fuel line, flex fuel sensor, and adapter fitting. You gotta remove your factory fuel line. There's gonna be these gray clips on it. Push those off. Pop this gray clip off. So before taking your fuel line out, release all the fuel pressure. Pull this black tab towards you while you're pushing in on the line, and it'll release it. Just like that. Same thing for the other side. Catch any uh, fuel that you lose. We're gonna install this onto the sensor here. I usually spray a little lubricant into the O-rings. And then you're gonna pop this line on here. There's grooves for it to fit. Slide this in. And then tighten it on. You're gonna grab your 6AN wrenches if you have them. Just make sure it's tight. Then you're good. All right, then you're gonna do the same thing on the stock fuel line. Pushing this side on first. You're gonna have to thread this on. So you can pull that cal out of your way, it gives you a lot more room. Thread it on to that line. Make sure you get it tight. Grab your fuel line out of your flex fuel kit. Same thing, spray the O-rings a little bit. Pop this onto the OEM line down here, get a good click. Same thing, run it along this side. Push it in, get a nice click. All right, there's a little grommet back here, right here. I'm pushing on, take like a flat head on this and just push it out. And then you can just throw that away. Or you're gonna have this flex fuel harness. This just goes right onto your sensor up here. Longer side, this was in a tube. This is going through the firewall, through that hole that we made. This is gonna go to the ground right here on top of the fuel rail on this 8 mil, and then this is going to run down to the crankcase vent heater plug, which is just behind the electronic wastegate plug down here. That's only for a stock turbo. If you're upgraded turbo, this plug is already 
disconnected most likely, you would just plug this side of it and then plug this in. Then, nice click. I think I have to disconnect over there. Yeah, there's that heater plug. Pop these buttons off, get that out of your way. And the plug is, this is your wastegate harness right here, electronic wastegate. The plug is on the back side here. So you have to reach your hand around and feel for it. Take your pocket screwdriver, unplug that crankcase vent heater plug. This side just plugs into the harness. This just goes into the sensor. Click, click, click. Make sure you shut the locking tab. Click, locking tab. And you have your ground, ground strap on top of it. Then we gotta run this to the firewall. Push it through. Oh. All right, you gotta pull a few of these panels out. One up top here, pull it down and out. Pull this out as well. And undo it from here, pull that out. Here's all the wiring you should have fed through. All right, you gotta pop this side panel out. One last panel right here. Pop that out. Then you're gonna pull this back. You're gonna unplug your body control module harness right here. You're gonna spread these, this white, I don't know, connector, whatever, out. Spread it out. On both sides. slide this out. Then you're gonna have this whole Johnson split that apart. Then you're gonna take this black side. You have two wires you need to deep in. There's a yellow and black and a yellow and a white. Comes with your flex fuel kit. You're just gonna replace this yellow and black and yellow and white into this connector. Now you need something small. You're gonna pull it out gently. You shouldn't need to force it. Uh, if you're forcing it, you're probably doing it wrong. You rip the connector. So I just pulled out the yellow and white ones. I'm just gonna pop the yellow and white in from the flex fuel harness. Until it clicks. And then the same thing, yellow and black. And these just slide right in. Clicks. Then you're gonna take these two that you separated slide them back together. Have this harness, or this clip connector. It also comes with a flex field kit. You're gonna put the yellow and black wire. You're gonna pin that into this lower one. So that yellow and black wire goes into the bottom one, the yellow and white. Here it both slightly click. And then you have this green locking tab. Just push that down. From there, you can just connect this into that. And then you take your white casing again. You just slide that back over top. At this point, you can plug that back in. Make sure it's in there nice and secure. All right, so this connector that we just plugged into the body control module over here, this pops in right there. Only fits one way. And then we'll have this. This will go into our controller. All right, so you're gonna grab your controller. There's a few different sides. There's sensor, signal, and gauge. This customer come with the Zetronics gauge. So this will just plug right in. Take whatever this is. And you're just gonna plug that into your signal port. Got a good tug, make sure it's in there. All right, so now everything's all wired up. You can tuck all of this either up top, up under the dash behind here, and then feed it behind this carpet here. And then you can run your gauge across this inside and come out to have right over here. There is an order that they go in. You gotta start with this side piece. Just reverse of how they came off. Easy as that. 
All right, so then once you got all that wired up, I'm gonna put the batteries back in, and then you wanna start it up before you put the cowl on and check for leaks. Start it up, check for some leaks before you put the cowl on. You should be able to have a content reading right now. Slide your cow back in. Hope no one ever watches these videos. Don't like or comment or subscribe. Don't watch anything we post.